Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're cooking with solar ovens. I'm gonna share some tips with you on how to cook with solar, and then I'm going to show you a couple of the ovens that we made ourselves. So first of all, when you're cooking with solar, make sure that you have good sunlight. Uh, even on a cloudy day, you can still cook, but direct sun is great. Also, you can see in the background here, I've got some cookware that's all dark colored and it's really light, so it's like cheap stuff but it's the perfect thing to cook when you're cooking with your solar oven. You can actually use a Dutch oven if you'd like. It just takes a longer time to heat up, but it retains the heat very well. So if you're new to solar cooking, you can use things like maybe a stew or something that you can set in your pot. You're camping, you go fishing, you come back, you check on it. And so anything that you can do with a crock pot or slow cooker, you can also do in a solar oven. It may take just a little bit more time, but hey, we're relaxed, we're out camping, we're enjoying ourselves, so it's a great thing to use. If you're going to buy a commercially produced solar oven, and there are some really great ones out there, understand that these are open ovens, and they'll probably be enclosed, and they have a lot of different methods of directing the sunlight to the oven. And because they're enclosed, they tend to create more moisture from the food that you're cooking. So if you're cooking something that you generally would use a lot of water, you can really reduce that quite a bit by using a solar oven. So let me show you some of the things that we do with the ovens that we've made. We can just fold them up, take them with us, and uh, let's take a look. So here's a great little DIY project that actually I made this morning in about 35, 40 minutes, and it's super simple, but I wanted to show it to you because it really demonstrates everything that you need in a solar oven. Uh, let's start with the Amazon box. Thank you very much, Amazon. They sent us lots of boxes, so we just use that today. Uh, you want something that's reflective, you could use tin foil. I had some duct tape. This is not the duct tape that you would find like at a Home Depot, but it's duct tape that an HVAC professional would use to put around the pipes. And so that's what we've just used around here to reflect. I've created some corners on the flaps that will allow me to adjust whatever direction the sun is coming. And then in the bottom, I've got something that's black that's gonna reflect the sun. Now, if you're doing a proper oven, you want some insulation inside. And so I cheated a little bit. I just got a foam board that uh, you can buy at any craft store. And I just cut the foam board. So it gave me a little bit of insulation and also the black reflective material on the back and that's really important because that really holds the heat and as I just put my hand here I can really feel the heat that's being held different from the reflection to the heat from the black it's pretty amazing so this was made so that maybe we can do some muffins a little bit later I've got my muffin tin here it's made it'll fit right there and we'll set that up make some muffins up and we'll give it a try a little bit later Here's another little DIY project that just takes materials from any home improvement center. It's a foam insulation. It's like the foam bubble wrap kind of stuff that's got just some aluminum material. And we'll add in the description below the plans on how to build it, how to cut it out. Just cut it out, a couple of clothespins, it hooks together and it creates a great oven. Let me show you what we've got going over here. This is really the great part of the video because we've got some brownies going and it smells awesome. Anyway, let me show you a little bit about this stove. It just folds up a couple of clothes pins underneath. We've cut some slots. You just put that tab through the slot, attach it with the clothes pin. And then to keep the heat in here, we've added a little bit of tin foil to the top and clipped that with clothes pins. So it's a pretty simple setup. One of the things that you wanna make sure that you do is make sure that you're following the sun directly. And the way that I do that, today I'm using tongs, but you can use anything that will put a shadow out there. And that means that I'm centered. So we've gone from following the sun over here to moving to make sure that we're right in the center of the shadow. So follow the sun, get the best results. We hope that you'll do this camping or at home. And we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.